Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed test comparison here between the new iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, very expensive phone, the 7 Plus, and this is the 256 gig model. I wanted to see if it offered any advantage over the uh, older iPhone 6S Plus. And the first thing I can notice straight away is how dim the uh, light display is here compared to the 6S Plus. Uh, when you're booting up definitely think uh, I've seen some others as well with the same kind of issue uh, you can see it does boot on a little bit faster which is good um, because obviously when we first did this with the 7 and the 6s the 6s did actually boot on a lot faster uh, so we're going to have a look here how they compare and uh, we have updated everything I think we've cleared the background cache as well for the browsing so just to remind you this is the iPhone 7 Plus iPhone 6s Plus green is obviously the newer one just remember that and you'll be good to go uh, so we're just going to quickly go through these so it doesn't go on for too long and you can see if you can see any major differences here so far they look uh, very comparable if you ask me uh, with these like day to day stuff let's try that again a little bit faster on the 7 plus there I noticed uh, cursor came up a bit faster on the 6s plus for the uh, camera so you can see 6s plus still mightily fast here uh, news a little bit faster on the 6s plus again for the news uh, very nice performance but this one went to the 7 plus so it's a little bit back and forth really it doesn't seem to be you know consistently in the the 7 plus's favor uh, we do have some third party apps as well so we'll look at playstation So they both load like literally exactly the same. That is weird. And we do have something else as well, I think. What do we have? We have downloaded something here, GTA. So a little bit faster on the 6s plus but we did get a pop-up so that could have interfered with that uh, we do have angry birds a little bit faster load here I think it's with the gaming you're gonna see a little bit more performance uh, I think but you see that the basic apps still load pretty fast on the 6s plus here uh, which is interesting so maybe if you don't play a lot of games you're not going to see much uh, performance increase This is Assassin's Creed Identity, and are we loaded? Both of them seem to be about the same loading. Not a massive difference, really. But we are up and operational on the 7 Plus, a little bit faster there again. Uh, so again you can see the game loading a bit faster on the newest phone one more <clears throat> so 
So I'm going to probably call this uh, quite mixed when it comes to the basic apps, but when it comes to the gaming, you can see there's definite improvement there on the 7 Plus. So maybe it's an optimization issue, you know, we don't really know at this point. Uh, just going to do a quick little speed test of the Wi Fi because I really did enjoy the 6S speeds. And we don't seem to have the same speeds with the 7 anymore. You can see very good score. Not the best that I've seen from the 6S series. Wow, so you can see the Wi-Fi is very kind of inconsistent on the iPhone 7 Plus. Sometimes it's really good, other times it just doesn't perform. But today it is definitely performing and you can see there's a definite increase in the download. A little bit less for the upload, but I'm not really bothered about that. So nice to see it's performing today. It would be nice if it was a bit more consistent though. Uh, we're going to just check out the page load speed of a few websites. So as I said, I've cleared down the Safari cache, like the stored stuff, so it's fair test. And we're gonna quickly go to a few websites here. So that was faster on the iPhone 7 Plus here. Uh, so let's see, let's try Windows. Windows 10 and let's click on Microsoft a bit faster on the 6s plus here with this one quite inconsistent Daily Mail a bit faster to search on the left there much faster for loading the page on the 6s plus again but i don't think it responded then so we'll go to a different one uh, we'll go down here something interesting again six looks like the 6s plus was a bit faster there to load this page and one more verge go this is a 7 this time 7 again load the advert a bit faster so again back and forth nothing clear cut really uh, i'm going to have to give that a draw because both of them showed strengths on certain websites uh, definitely not a reason to upgrade if you're looking for like better browsing speed or something success is uh, still got a very nice processor i'm going to have a look at the multitasking test and then round the video off quite nicely and I think we get three gigs of RAM now, obviously, in the 7 Plus versus two gigs in the 6S Plus. And you can see so far it looks very similar in terms of the performance, both of them keeping most things in memory. Usually we see the differences when we go back to the gaming which rear their head so you can see the basic apps do keep in memory very easily we'll just check out the camera now 
See if we can get back into that quickly on both of them. Yep, yeah, nice and fast. No stutter. Let's check out the games. So I think the first one we opened was, uh, I think it was GTA. Let's see this one. Back in there, no issues. And then we did open Angry Birds 2. Both of them straight back in there, no difference. Uh, then we did open the Assassin's Creed. Let's go to that. Exactly the same. So I think I'm gonna have to give this one a draw as well when it comes to the uh, the multitasking. You know, I don't know whether to be happy or sad. To be honest, a bit sad that the iPhone Seven Plus hasn't really you know, push the performance on much day to day. Oh, no, I opened my mouth too quick. You can see we did get a reload at the end there with the with the uh, success plus. So maybe if you open up like five or six games, you'll start to see it, the improvement on the seven plus. Uh, so I'm just gonna give that to the seven plus at the end there, it did, uh, wing it shall we say but overall i've been very uh, impressed with the success uh series of phones how they've stood up to the seven here obviously you do get the dual camera set up on the uh, seven plus so you can pl play with the bokeh effects you do get waterproofing now obviously uh, which is quite nice but we don't get a headphone jack and there's some other compromises to you know be aware of like i talked about the display uh, on the 7, it seems a little bit uh, dimmer than the uh, 6S uh, Plus, but I'll probably check it out outside just to make sure of that. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little comparison here, hope you find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!